This is problem number four from Linear Applications 2. The gist of the problem was that you had five gallons of gas that was already mixed in a 50 to 1 ratio of gas to oil. Now the assumption is that the five gallons is the total mixture, not that you had five gallons to begin with, but the total of the gas and oil is five gallons. My question was how much oil do you have to add to that gas-oil mixture to reduce the ratio of gas to oil to 40 to 1. Now first of all, to do that, we need to figure out everything in fluid ounces. Because 5 gallons of gas is actually 640 fluid ounces, because there's 128 fluid ounces for every gallon. Now, let's talk about our chart. There were two things I knew again to begin with. First of all, all the oil gas mixture was 50 to 1. So however much oil there was, I'll call that X, there was 50 times that much gas. So there'd be 50X gas uh, fluid ounces. Now if I add those two together, my X and my 50X, that gives me the total fluid ounces of 640. So 51X equals 640. Dividing both sides by 51, leaves me with x equals 0.549. Now truthfully, that's the rounded version. I would take the rest of my life, of course, to list the rest of the digits. I had to have something that would fit on the camera, so I left it as 12.549. But for purposes of all my calculations, I just stored that value back to infinity in my calculator. Now let's talk about how to actually set up that equation now. Oh, before I do that, by the way, if x, the number of fluid ounces of oil is 12.549, there's 50 times that much, or 50x, or 50 times 12.549, or 627.451 fluid ounces of gasoline. Now let's set up the equation. Remember, the desired ratio of gas to oil was 40 to 1. So since my desired ratio of oil to gas is 1 to 40, I'm going to head and put the amount of oil on top. I desire to do that because x is my unknown and it's always easier to do the calculations, remember, if your unknown is on top. Now we knew that there was 12.549 fluid ounces of oil. I'm going to add some more oil. I don't know how much, but that'll give me 12.549 plus those X fluid ounces of oil that I'm going to add. On the bottom, I have the gasoline, which I know I want to be 40, and I have 627.451 fluid ounces of gasoline already in the container. I'm not adding any gasoline, so that number will stay the same. And what I want, again, is that ratio of those 12 original fluid ounces plus the extra amount I add over my 600 and some fluid ounces of gas, I want that to be in a ratio of 1 to 40. Now, first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by this 627.451. I do that because on this side, I know that that is going to cancel my denominator. On the left side, I'll nearly need to do the calculation of 140 times 627. That leaves me on the left side with 15.686. On the right side, with the denominator eliminated, I have 12.549 plus x. Now at this point, I merely subtract the 12.549 from both sides of my equation, and that leaves me with 3.137, the number of fluid ounces that I need to add to my gas-oil mixture. 